Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Psychic Medium Ray. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a reading on Kyle Richards. I'm not sure if I've ever done her before. Um, she is a reality star of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Um, she is married to Mauricio, and uh, there's been a lot of speculation over the last couple of months or weeks that they um, are getting a divorce. They are splitting up. And so I'm here to give you the real tea, the tea from spirit, what I see in for Kyle and, uh, you know, and also for Mauricio, you know, are they meant to be together? What does spirit has, has, what does spirit have to say about all this? So apparently through, you know, the tabloids and what they are denying, they issued a statement denying that they're breaking up, but um, it's been a rough year. So, you know, allegedly for them. So let's see what comes up around Kyle. Um, I feel like there is a lot that's not being said, but there's a lot going on, not just between her and Mauricio, but other people too. This could be with the production of the show, friends. And I feel like I hear, can you believe they did this? Or can you believe they're trying to portray me as this or put, you know, put it out there? But I feel like it's all, you know, it's good. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Well, maybe there is, but publicity is publicity, right? And so they're getting a lot of attention. With the Knight of Swords, I feel like she's going to be very quick to um, straighten things up, you know, get in front of the camera and when it's her time, you know, but the time has to be right. I feel like she's also confronting a lot of things, like confronting Mauricio with things that she doesn't like, um, confronting other people on her team, et cetera. She's a very creative person. So I feel like for the most part, she um, tries to stay very centered and balanced and um, is focused a lot like on her health recently, you know, getting fit, everything. She's always been, you know, fit, but like really focusing on her health. Um, I see the moon card. So a lot of things are being hidden from the public eye, but a lot of things that, that have been hidden to, from, from Mauricio, um, Kyle has picked up on it because the moon is like, it deals with our intuition. So she's a very intuitive person. I feel like she needs to start trusting what she's feeling about the relationship. Um, I feel like she might feel trapped in the relationship with the eight of swords. So it's like this feeling, like feeling trapped, pushing people out, but it's all up here. It's like, she doesn't let a lot of people in because a lot of people that you let in sometimes are snakes around you and they will betray you or, you know, do some shit uh, and fake some shit. And then I get the five of swords. So again, Kyle has a lot of people in her business, including myself, because I'm doing this reading, obviously. No offense, Kyle. I love you. But I'm going to give the tea, you know, to spirit, um, the tea of spirit, you know, to people, including Kyle, if she happens to watch this or someone on her team. But I feel like she just needs to be careful because I feel like I feel like I've said this before to other people, you know, trusting too too much or saying too much about your next moves and things that is not always very conducive to your well-being. And um, I feel like she, less is more. This is the loss, the emotional loss, the five of cups. So I feel like, again, there is this mourning. Like, they both know that this relationship can never go back to the same. They may work. They may get counseling. They may work on it. They may try to stay together for the public, you know, for the time being. But I feel like eventually they will divorce. Like, there will be a separation. And I feel like she needs to nurture her childhood. I feel like a lot of this is now surfacing. It's like it's taking her back to her childhood and maybe her own parents. So there might be like, you know, mommy issues or daddy issues there where um, it's just it's like a lot of this is deja vu for her. But um, I feel like Kyle is is kind of hanging on for the kids or for whatever, you know, reason that the hangman just makes me feel like, again, there's this feeling of like hanging on. It could be more financial, you know, the things they have joint um, on, you know, how messy that can be. But I feel like Mauricio truly does want to work things out despite what, you know, the tabloids are running. I feel like he's more invested in trying to fix this. Um, and I could be totally wrong on that, but I just feel like he deep down, even though if he's angry at her or whatever is going on, I do feel like he wants to work it out. I just feel with the lover's card that they are soulmates, but even though you have soulmates, I'm a firm believer. And I've said this before, you can have more than one soulmate in this lifetime. And I feel like Spirit is saying, you know, they need to, when the lover's card comes out and they're in a relationship already or in a spiritual union or married, um, basically, or essentially it's saying that you need to work on the relationship. There's things that are not perfect in the relationship. And that's how I interpret it. You know, the love does exist in between them and that can be the only saving grace, you know, um, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of sudden changes. There's the tower card is like sudden changes happening. A lot of chaos when it comes to the home life, you know, and because everybody, the paparazzi and everybody 
is involved. Now, it's interesting because I know that Kyle said or uh, allegedly there's, you know, there has been statements saying that there was no cheating on anybody's part. <laughs> However, Spirit doesn't think that. And I think that some things will come to the light. The Three of Cups comes out. So typically that's a card of celebration, good news, everything like that. But when it comes on in terms of a relationship, which is where my energy is fixated and focused on the purposes and intent, intent of this reading, um, it takes on a whole different type of meaning. For me, it's a third-party relationship. It's her, him, and another person, you know. So who's to say, you know, who that other person is? Is it a person connected to her or to him? But I do feel like... Um, with the three of, of, of pinnacles, again, there's a connection to the number three. This could be someone that she ends up like dating or someone that takes interest in her that's in her workspace. Like somebody that comes from the industry, the same type of work, maybe production, producer, people, filmmaker, you know, someone that is like in the business. Um, and I feel like with the seven of swords, she's going to be constantly challenged. So she's going to have to stand her ground. It's like, stand your ground, girlfriend. Don't let people walk all over you. You know, I feel like there's also a lot of confusion if she does go through with this divorce or separation in the future, you know, with the seven of cups, there's just so many options, so many things to think of, et cetera. But I feel like she's going to be busy traveling this year before this year's over. I see her like, I see Aspen or Colorado or somewhere where it's like really mountainous. I feel like it'd be like a getaway for her. Um, and I see her like the hard work that she's putting in is going to develop other projects and things. Um, in, in terms of like TV and other, you know, projects coming down the line. Um, I also feel a very strong connection to Kyle's mom. Not sure, you know, what the relationship they have or um, had, or if she's even in the physical world, but I feel like there's a connection, like her mom's thinking of her in many ways. So I'm, um, like I said, I don't follow um, these celebrities. I tend to get requests on readings and she was one that recently um, that came up to be read. Uh, it was requested by one of my rays of light, but the six of wands makes me feel like she will be successful in her business life. But I feel like when it comes to her love life, there is this feeling of like, she's going to turn her back to Mauricio or to whoever her lover would be in the future lovers, you know, because um, again, I feel like Mauricio is not the last person that she'll be with. And I feel like she, it's like this feeling of turning her back and then um, kind of like, planning the future planning her future self i feel like once she steps into her power and realizes how much of a bad bitch she is how strong she is and powerful she is she doesn't need a man she's going to separate from him you know i feel like he will still continue to think of her or pursue her in some way but i feel like um eventually you know she's going to settle for someone that has money that i'm not saying that Mauricio doesn't but i feel like it will be someone that's a little older than her you know, if she, but I don't know, she'll get married again. I feel like she might just be in a, in open relationships or like in a relationship, but not married. I don't see marriage again for her after Mauricio. I feel like it would just be her living her life, you know, and if someone's there, well, that's fine. It compliments her, but she doesn't need it because Kyle is a powerhouse. She literally is a bad bitch and she doesn't need a man to co like complete her. I think that she's going to realize that. I think that a lot of her girlfriends or people around her are very dependent on their husbands, you know, if they have like, you know, a lot of money, et cetera. But she's not this, she's not that. And I, the justice card just tells me that the divorce or like an, a legal issue will be coming up, which I feel like would be the divorce, you know? So I feel like even though she, they denied rumors of that, eventually that's going to come down the pipeline. Yeah. And I see her walking away, but with the eight of cups, it's almost like a feeling of like, a deep loss like having to walk away not only from him but other people that are like mutual friends talk toxic you know that instigate and this tells me there's new beginnings for kyle the ace of wands so this is new beginnings in her relationship her love life her career her finances and where she's going kyle needs to remember she is a magician she is a jack a jill of all trades and she has everything in her arsenal and her repertoire in her persona to move ahead like she's going to always be busy booked and busy baby and i feel like she just can only move forward i feel like at this point maudie still is like um of the weak link and no offense to him so i think he's a great fabulous guy i just feel like people just drift apart for whatever reason you know over time people can fall out of love and i feel like it's weird to saying for her to follow her intuition with the high priestess 
literally follow her intuition because again, she's not wrong in how she feels and what she expresses. Again, things are always said to the tabloids to throw them off, et cetera. But deep down, I feel like Kyle um, will make the right decision when time comes, you know, and maybe, you know, she will circumvent that after looking at this reading or, you know, it, it's always a free will. Things can change just because I'm a, a psychic, you know, that's predicted many things doesn't mean that it's going to take place. You know, people have free will. And sometimes these readings actually are beneficial from a spiritual perspective because it puts things into perspective for them so they can utilize and maybe like i said circumvent or change the outcome or the destiny but there are things that are like already pre-written etc and with the way that my gift works i see so some things that are more out there in the future that's called precognition or precognitive ability so um i'm wishing kyle and mauricio the best i hope that they you know work this out but uh, regardless i think both of them will be fine um, and so will the children, uh, if there's any children involved, because so I believe they do have children. But anyways, um, I'm sending nothing but love and light to all of you guys. And remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner and turn on the notification bell icon to all. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.